Hello everyone, my name is Mr Aldridge. I'm a guidance teacher at Grange Academy and I also work in the PE department. I've been at the school for nine years now and I thought it'd be a good idea for me to answer the top 10 questions that P7s have before starting life with us in S1. So let's get underway with the first question. Question number one, what does a guidance teacher do? Well, we do a lot in the school. We're mainly here to support you throughout your time with us from S1 to the end of S6. That could be for something really minor, like a falling out with a friend, or something a bit more major, like your mental health or a family situation that's happening at home. We also teach a lot of your PSE, so we get to see you throughout the week in those classes too. Question number two, what is PSE? PSE stands for Personal and Social Education, and it's one of the most important subjects on your timetable that you get from S1 right up until the end of S6. In PSE, we cover a lot of topics that are relevant to you at the age you're at. Things like relationships, mental health, drug education, sex education, and lots of other important things that you need to know. Question number three, what happens if I get lost when I'm at Grange Academy? This is one of the most common questions that we get asked all the time. And I can assure you that at some point in the first few weeks of school, you're probably going to get lost. But don't worry, there's loads of signs up around the school to help direct you to your departments. There's going to be lots of senior pupils on hand that you can ask who will help take you along. And there's plenty of teachers as well that you'll see in the corridors who will be able to answer any questions that you have. And before long, you'll figure out how to use the one-way system and get from science on the top floor down to PE on the bottom floor. Question number four, what about uniform and PE kit? We've got a really smart uniform at Grange Academy, black or white shirt with a purple tie, black school trousers or a black skirt and leggings, and smart trainers. Please make sure you've got your uniform ready for starting with us in August. As for PE kit, we've got access to our PE changing room facilities now, so please make sure you bring PE kit with you on the days that you have PE so you can get changed and then change back into your uniform ready for your next class. Question number five, when am I allowed off campus for lunch? First year pupils are not allowed off campus until the October holidays. That's just so that you get used to the timings of the school day. You only get 45 minutes for your lunch, which isn't a lot of time to get down into town, get something to eat and get back in time for your next class. A lot of pupils choose to stay on campus and get something from the cafeteria or bring a pack lunch. That way they can enjoy some of the extracurricular activities that we offer and they're definitely going to be on time for period five. Question number six, what's the rule on bringing mobile phones to school? We know that a lot of young people are going to bring a mobile phone with them to school. They can be fantastic, but they can also cause real problems. Please keep them away during class time. You should not have your mobile phone out on the desk or in your hand. It's only going to distract you and other people around you. If you have your phone out, your teacher might ask you to hand it over and it can be collected at the end of the school day. Please also be careful about what you're posting on social media. Don't post anything that you wouldn't say to somebody's face and don't post a picture that you wouldn't want your granny to see. Question number seven, what if I don't know anybody in my class? We make a real effort to try and put you in a class with at least a few people from your primary school so that you'll know people in that first week. But one of the best things about joining a big school like Grange Academy is you're going to meet loads and loads of new people. People from different primary schools and different backgrounds. All you need to do is talk to them. So make sure you make an effort in that first few weeks to introduce yourself to your classmates and maybe go along to some of the extracurricular clubs to meet more people in your year. Question number eight. What if I've got a subject on my timetable that I don't like? One of the best things about starting secondary school is you get the opportunity to do loads of different subjects in first, second and third year. That's so that you can figure out what you like and what you're good at so that when you get to fourth, fifth and sixth year, you can start specialising in subjects that you set your exams in. If you've got a subject that you don't like on your timetable, give it a chance. Just give it a try. Who knows, you might actually end up liking it more than you thought. Question number nine. What if me or one of my friends are getting bullied while we're at school? Unfortunately, bullying sometimes happens. We hate it, but we've got to deal with it. If you or one of your friends are getting bullied, please come and talk to somebody. Ideally, your guidance teacher or a teacher that you trust, a parent, a carer or one of your close friends. We would always rather you spoke up and told us what was happening so we could help you with it than you suffering in silence. And finally, question number 10. 
What is one of the best pieces of advice you can give me before I start Grange Academy? One of the best pieces of advice I see on a weekly basis comes at the end of our bulletin. And it's so simple, work hard and be kind. If you do those two things, you will not go far wrong in your time with us at Grange. First year, I cannot wait to see you in August. Have a brilliant summer and we'll see you soon.